Welcome back to Satisfactory. Now, between uh, episodes, I haven't really done that much. I've just uh, organized these things and made sure that we have six constructors making um, copper sheets. I've done this a bit more tidy. Same over here, I've done it more tidy and connected everything up so that we have wire going out. I need to connect up the eight new uh, smelters so that we can produce more wire and thus also more cable. But uh, that's something that will have to wait until um, a later point. So for now we have one machine making cable, which is fine for what I'm planning as, uh, that we should do in this episode. Um, Actually, we need to hook up both of them. This is some old stuff that has been hanging around. So we actually have to hook up both of these. Okay, let's do that. Um, there we go. Can move that one as well. Because we don't need wire. But we do need wire. Okay. Um, let me just quick... Actually, I think it should be fine. What we need to do is, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's place down a conveyor pole here so that I know that these are the new ones. No power. Well, that's unfortunate. Should have power. There we go. Okay, so now all of these eight are producing copper ore so I need to merge them up and they are producing enough to saturate one mk3 belt question is where should I hook it up I think I'll hook it up here that is awfully close but uh no, that's wrong. The green needs to go that way. And a regular conveyor here. Then these need to be connected up. I'll go over the uh, the belts that need to be upgraded when I'm done here. Because several of these need to be upgraded to MK2 and then to MK3. For now, just, let's just get them connected first and foremost. It's kind of finicky to connect those uh, in there. Now, one, I think that's on the same. No, it isn't actually. They are one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some work over there. That's fine though. Get the green arrow. Good. One, two, three, four. Actually, that can be just made like this. To just simplify things. And. 
let's connect that to there. That should be straight. Good. And upgrade it to an MK3 belt. Now we need a conveyor lift MK3 to carry that across. And of course this one needs to be MK3 as well. Let's just start measuring here. So this is 60. This needs to be MK2. This needs to be MK2. And from here it needs to be MK3. Okay. Now the question is, do I need to change these? I probably do have to change those. But what will be easier to do just now, temporarily, before I start finagling with that, is to uh, simply just disconnect the current MK2 belt, connect up the MK3 belt, and I can have twice as many... Oh. Bother. And I can have twice as many machines making um, wire. Now, before I forget... Uh, Wally... My good friend Wally is making uh, his own satisfactory series over at his channel, Wally1169. And that's a more uh, detailed uh, playthrough where he's going through things like uh, step by step things, more like the things that I skip. So I highly recommend that you check out his series. Uh, I will link it in the description and there should also be an info card about it. So I hope that you uh, go over to his channel and check out his content on Satisfactory as well. He's a very good player, so uh, he's actually very good in most production line games. And uh, he also helped me with the mathematics in the uh, pipe tutorial. So uh, thank you uh, again for that, Wally. It's much appreciated. Okay, so each of these require 15 per minute. I could have just built more machines. But 15 per minute, that means I can set up... What? That's, that's just too much. Because they produce 30 parts per minute, which means that I can only have 8 of them. And unless my math, ma math is off, which I don't, don't think it is, that is 30, 60, so that would be 120, so that means I can just funnel them off on an MK2. I don't know why I keep saying that. Mark II belt, I mean. And I... No. It would be a Mark III belt, because 30, 60, 120 on each side. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, that means I can do this and connect up a uh, Mark II lift again. This should also be a Mark II lift. Well, it already is a Mark II lift. And that's a Mark II belt. This one needs to be Mark II. Now we need to connect up some more splitters. Good. 
And from here on out, uh, regular health should suffice. Like so, let's just stash these in there. Come on. Now let's make a merger. We are with the correct way, of course, there. And then we can put a conveyor pole here. And connect that up. Each of these produce 30 parts each. Which means we need this one to be marked 2. And that one needs to be marked three. How am I on? Okay, I need to go fetch more uh, steel beams, I think. Those aren't connected at all. These need. This needs to be a mark three lift. So that definitely needs to be a Mark III belt then. That should suffice with a regular conveyor belt. I have to upgrade that to Mark III. I have to upgrade the lift to Mark III. I have to upgrade the belt here to Mark III. I need to remove this and these. And we need to make more mergers here. This was not the plan of what I was intending to do with the episode, but we'll get to the part of what I wanted to do with the episode, so this is just filler. What I actually want to do is uh, connect up the uh, three materials we need to make the uh, space elevator. So 30, 60, 120. Is that correct? 36. Okay, so that doesn't need to be Mark 3. It can be Mark 2. Well, that's something at least, saving me some of the parts. But from there on, it has to be Mark 3. Is this Mark 3? No. There is one thing that I definitely, absolutely must do. And that is go hook up the uh, reinforced iron plates uh, assemblers in the uh, base A. Can't afford. Okay, let's take the hypertube. Can uh, drop off some of these items as well, the leaves and stuff. I could get rid of this rock formation there, but sadly, have to work with the terrain. Here we go, you can have this, and you can have these, and of course, we're full on uh, all of these things, so. in here I also need to set up more screw production up here which definitely isn't something that I expected that I would have to do encased iron beams no industrial encased something something beams let's grab a whole bunch of these and then the reinforced iron plates, I think I was just emptying the container before I actually hooked up the... Uh... Yep, the same with the modular frames. So let's remove this and this and hook up the actual belt to the bus. Uh, 
And I think the same goes over here. I have no idea what I've been doing here. What is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. That goes in there. Ah, right. This is a very uh, intricate... Uh, way of getting the stuff up there. I'm not sure what I've been doing here. I don't even know why I'm using a lift here. Oh, right, that's why. It's the excess iron plates. Getting this aligned is not exactly... Is that correct? Yes, it is. There we go. Now we get reinforced iron plates down to the um, hyper mall, as well as baby board cubes. And that probably increased the power usage of the base, but uh, that should not be a problem. Uh, we are at just above 600 megawatts. What else do I need? I need rotors. This one is probably... No, it isn't empty. Let's uh, grab a stack of those. I need some more concrete. Let's grab that. Come on. And well, that's a very odd place of me to place that. Um, reinforced iron plate should be in this one, but we're all out. Yeah, this looks good. Now let's go back down so we can uh, finish the upgrade of the... Uh, Mark three belt over to the uh, hyper mall. It's definitely on that layer. We need to get up here so we can see. It is that belt. And the wire is coming down through this, so let's just upgrade that. And then let's upgrade the belt there. And that should definitely uh, help with matters. Now we can dump up a few of these in here. Let's just put them in the final uh, slots. I think we can take another two of them, because I don't need that many iron plates. Same with the iron rods, we can put those there as well. And now we are going to need various items. Amongst them we are going to need steel pipes, so let's take this off I think we need to just dismantle these um, grinders for now because what we're going to do now is a bit more important than getting those uh, Coupons. I'll get back to that later. Uh, also, let's just put a few things in a chest here so I don't go around with lots of uh, unnecessary things in my inventory. 
That looks good. Okay, so first of all what we need is to set up four assemblers. I think we're just going to do that here. Because these are highly temporary, they are going to be removed again. So, first of all, we need steel pipe and wire for the um, stator production. Which one of these is steel pipes? It's this one. So we can just put a stackable conveyor pole there to align one of these with. There. Do I need steel pipe for anything else? No. As a matter of fact, I don't. So that's good. We do this. And then we just do a regular... Mark 1 belt. And logistics, conveyor lift. On both sides and connect that up to that. And this one needs to be set to producing stators. So 15 and 40. So now we need wire. Do I need wire for anything else? No, I don't. Let's uh, do the same with uh, this one. Wire should be here. That means I need to remove these so we don't accidentally get those into the uh, equation. I don't want that. Can I just connect this to there? Yes, I can. Perfect. So we need a conveyor lift. And we need a conveyor lift like that. And then connect it up. And connect up this. Now, we also need power. So let's just uh, bump down a power line. Why isn't it showing me the... Uh... I'll place it there. And I'll, I will also upgrade it to a uh, Mark II pole. And connect that to that. And now we should be starting making stators very soon. Just need to pause the recording shortly because I need a cup of coffee. Be right back. There we go. Okay, now we need to set up the next assembler, which is... I can align that with the assembler that I already have there, but I need some spacing in between. So this one is going to make automated wiring. I can just put it up like that. And this one requires cable, of course. Now, I probably can't build a belt. I might be able to build a belt above the uh, four, five. I don't know. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. That's sufficient? Yes, it is. Could I build it at four? Yes. Can I build it at three? No. So it works at four, which is fine. And here we need cable, which should be the uh, next container. Why isn't this receiving any cable? 
Okay, I'm gonna go look into that afterwards. Let's just set up the stuff first and foremost. Need to upgrade that belt. It's probably a belt somewhere that uh, is missing. And... Let's see here. I just need to make sure that I'm doing this on the correct angle. So I think that this should be there. One, two, three, four. And I probably have to set up this as well. One, two, three, four. That should be... Ah, that's one too few. This is definitely not how things are going to be uh, taken out of the various um, containers. But it will suffice for this specific task just right now. Now let's uh, connect this up here. And then also connect up some power. So now this one is making automated wiring. For the next, we need modular frames and steel beams. I guess we can just put that assembler... Let's just put it there. Now that looks... that looks not good. I want to have it in line with the other one. Let's try that again. Like so. So we need modular frames, they should be here. And we also need steel beams, which should be on the other side here. That one we can just uh, go up to height 3 on. Actually, it's just simple to do it like this. And... I think I can just... Is this on height... That's on height 2. Okay, let's just uh, do this on this height then. I need to have this here. Connect that up like this. And we can just connect it like that. And I'm not even going to bother, so we do it like this. And this is on height 4. So that should be here. One, two, three, four. Now we need to connect the belt like so. And then we need an elevator or rather a lift going down. And we can connect that to this machine. And then we have to have a lift here. And we can connect that to this. And this one is supposed to make versatile framework. Now we need another power line here. We can just put it there. And connect it to the assembler. And for the final one, we need rotors and reinforced iron plates. Like that. That is reinforced iron plates, actually. That should be here somewhere. This one. And then the rotors are, of course, here. 
Now this, I'm just gonna do this very lazy. We do this. And... This. And... Okay, so we can get the green line. Good. This, and just connect it up like that. And the same with the rotors. Just connect it up. That isn't straight. There we go. And connect. Ah. It's the wrong angle. Okay. So let's put it there then. And then connect up that belt and connect up that belt. And now this one is ready to produce smart plating. Perfect. Now I need to go investigate quickly what's going on with the cable. of course what's going on with the cable <laughs> i didn't uh, set it up so we need a merger this is going to look absolutely horrendous but i don't care we also need to connect this to that so we produce cable in this one and then we have to make like this and like so, and connect up this one here, and then this one to there. That should be 60 cable. Yep, 60 cable per minute. I'll fix this later on. For now, I just want to get the uh, machine hooked up in the... Uh, to, or rather, the machines hooked up to the space elevator. So let's build a gentle slope, I think, to there. And then two, three, four, five, two, three, four. And we, I'm just going to check that that's actually correct. I might need, I might, it might have to be um, five. So if I build a conveyor stackable there, does that give a straight line? I don't think it gives a complete straight line because of the... Um, Actually, I have to make it at 5, because otherwise I will not be able to use a lift. So there we go. Come on. There we go. Good boy. And this we want to connect up to this one. So let's see here. I think it has to be on this angle. This should be fine. And we connect that to this. And then we build another conveyor lift. And we can then connect that to there. Good. Looks absolutely ridiculous when there is a height difference of one and a half platform, but uh, not terribly concerned with that. Okay, now for the next one, we'll take that out on this angle. Two, 
two, three, four, five. This needs to be one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe the other one was five, yes. And then we have to make a similar one at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we need to connect the belt. And obviously we also need the lift here. So let's do that. There we go. We also need the lift here. Connect that up. Thankfully we don't need to have this stuff going on. This needs to be on three and connect the belt to that. And then we need this to be... I have no idea if this is going to work. If it does, I will be very surprised. Because then you can build some... Wow! Then you can build some rather compact designs. Huh. I did not expect that. Okay, now for the final one, we can have that on... You have been playing for eight hours. Well, now. We can have that on... This angle. I haven't actually been playing for eight hours, but... The game has been on for eight hours, that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because this one's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this has to be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have to run over at the other side again. It should be on this. Two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. Then we need to connect that to there. And we need a conveyor lift as well. And connect that to the lift. Why isn't you... Oh, yeah, they take time to produce, of course. That's the reason. Oop. And one, two, three, four. Yes. Oop. And do the same again. One, two, three, four. Connect that to this one. And then connect that to that one. And then we have the conveyor lift going down, and boom. And now we are starting to produce the things that we need for the space elevator. But that's going to take time, so I'll just let that uh, do its job off camera. And when it's ready, that's when we will start the next episode. So thank you all so very much for joining me. And I will see you all in the next episode.